These mini LED traffic light modules look really cool, plus they're super cheap too. Here's how to get them working with the Arduino Uno microcontroller. So you'll notice I have two versions. Later I'll show you how to make the one with the jumper cables. But first, let's just plug the LED module straight into the board of the Arduino. You'll need to plug it into pins 11 to 13 inclusive, plus the adjacent GND ground pin next to them. Be sure to plug it in the correct way. The pin marked G for green needs to fit into pin 11, so then obviously GND on the traffic light plugs into GND on the Arduino. Now I'll show you the code we need to get it running through the Arduino IDE. I've linked to my sketch code in the description below. So in the Arduino IDE, this is how to get the traffic light working, and this is the version when the traffic light is just stuck into the pins directly, there's no jumper cables. So the first thing to do is to go to Tools, and then Board, and check that we've got an Arduino Uno here, and also that our COM port is selected. So mine is currently on COM6. So if you want this code, there's a link in the description below. So first of all, here I've set three constants, red, yellow, and green LEDs. So these correspond to the pins on the Arduino board. So use of constants is good practice rather than just having so-called magic numbers. So in our setup routine, all we have to do is to use the pin mode method and the first parameter is the LED and the second parameter will define as output. Then in our loop, all we basically do is to use the digital write function and all we have to do here is put in the pin number and set high which turns the LED on and low which turns it off again. So I start with the green light and that sets the green LED to high and it turns off the yellow because we are in a loop so previously the yellow one was on. And then there's a delay which is 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds. So then we put the yellow light on and finally the red light. I then show the yellow light and it goes back to green again. So this code isn't particularly flashy if you excuse the pun. Normally in the UK yellow light will flash before it's safe to go to green again. But this will do as a starter. Now I'll run through the alternative version. This time I've used pins 8, 9 and 10. You can use any of the digital output pins on the Arduino. These are 0 to 13 inclusive. So the code is pretty much identical, however I have changed the LED pins to 8, 9 and 10 instead of 11, 12 and 13. The reason I've done this is that pin 13 also controls the internal LED and you'll notice that the red LED flashes when the Arduino is doing certain operations, for example uploading a sketch. So I thought it was best to move it to pin 10. If you want to buy these mini traffic lights then they're for sale on AliExpress and elsewhere. I bought a 5 pack of them for just £1.02 on AliExpress. Incidentally you will also find these for sale on Amazon, eBay and dedicated online electronics component vendors. So what are the downsides to these traffic light modules? In my particular ones the red LED is significantly brighter than the yellow and green LEDs. I also think the yellow LED is quite feeble and it does kind of look orangey too. The green LED looks kind of yellow, still for the price I can't really complain. I've also been unable to find a 3D printed case for them, so they might not be that suitable if you want them for a mini city or diorama. If you do find a case that fits them, then drop a comment below. I hope you found this tutorial useful, thanks for watching!